All the play for here, Jase. Yes. Said, uh, yeah. No. I mean, the, the, these are going to be season the, the season. This is the thing. Like, That's if, you right. can, if you win, if you win three or four games by like a goal or two, yep. they can be the difference between winning ten games and winning six. Especially as Ben's the side you can put against. Absolutely. So nine, twelve, sixty-six East Geelong. They lead Anarchy nine, eleven, sixty-five. Start of the final term here, and it'll be a Wilson and Bolton. And Wilson gets it down, not very far out of the centre circle to Phyllis. He's wrapped up. Pack develops. The umpire. Come on, umpire, darling. Come in. Secondary Daniel bounce Sun. in the middle. By Daniel Sun. So I'll point the difference. Getting a bit chilly out here too at Anarchy. Sun's gone down. Just about. Ball up for Bolton and Wilson. Wilson gets it down. Tapped on nicely by Phyllis to Wormsley. Goes inside 50. Oh, the one ander if you don't mind. By Pointer. And he will shoot for goal from 35 out directly in front. A bit mercurial. That was. Very Just nice indeed. Hold, hold off with the left arm take with the right. And he's kicked one this afternoon. And this for the start that uh, the home side would require in the final term to take the lead and to give him a bit of momentum as well. He comes in, right foot kick, bends it around left to right, Craig Parry style, and has kicked the goal. So his second of the afternoon to 10th for Anarchy. They go to 10 11 71. They lead East along 9 12 66. Smith's old and Bloodsuzuki final quarter scoreboard. Minute played. Don't know why he took the cans off. We still heard it. <laughs> Lunch was catching on. <laughs> uh, we need one of those uh, cough buttons, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> 10 second delay. <laughs> Just got to uh, re regurgitate of the uh, calamari. <laughs> oh, stop it. Uh, taste, reckon second taste. You, uh, still tastes good the second time. Oh, okay. Cations. <laughs> I said we, we liked him and he, he told us to, where to go. Who? Red Grubby. Ah, oh, well, he can go and... Uh, uh, yeah, well, that's what he told and, us to do. Go and forth and multiply, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> uh, back in the middle of the ground, as I said. Anarchy now back in front. They lead by that five points. And the ball is thrown up by the umpire in the middle of the ground. Bolton, this goes down. This time it was uh, tapped out by Wilson. Going the other way, though. Brown picks the ball up for East Geelong. Goes long and quickly into the forward line. Coming over the top. Oh, nearly had hold of that. And that was Griffiths. It was a good attempt. Picked up by Cockle. Got boot to ball. Got the ball out. Picked up. Ends up in the hands of Kavanagh, who steadies himself. Went to the ball outside. Out to Ebel. He's kept the ball in front of him, but it goes over the boundary line. And it's going to be thrown in by the umpire. A little bit going on behind play here. So the umpire about to restart it. As we said, we're not too sure the Ruckman are. Wilson's pushed up now. Also Bolton, so the nomination has been given to the umpire. He's happy with that. Umpire can restart it. Bolton in the front position. Can't get the tap away too far. Picked up by Wilson. Went to Phyllis over the top. Gets the ball behind the contest. Picked up by Kavanagh. Looks forward. Goes towards uh, Pointer oh, again. Good mark. And he's taken a nice grab. Has a running player in Kavanagh. Ignored him. Got to his feet. And now delivers the ball. Goes long. In front, Kenyon. Holds good position. So, oh, well, oh, there Jeremy Sluggett runs in the goal and goes bang <laughs> in number five. So, Jeremy Sluggett. A nice read off the front of the contest. 11-11, 77 to Anarchy. 9-12-66. And we have gone three minutes final quarter. Smith's Holden, Buzzazuki, final quarter scoreboard. Seven kicks, five goals, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's had ample. That's, that's what you call efficiency. He hasn't had many marks, but he just kicks goals. That's what he's there for, isn't he? Oh, exactly right. <laughs> so he's got he five of 11, just, and Griffiths just, has got five of nine. He just read it perfectly, oh, yeah. didn't he? Just, didn't didn't change stride. Just didn't change stride. Just ball came off, bang. Straight through the pack, got it. Side of the pack, got the goal. And made sure he kicked it halfway to Balan too, <laughs> the footy. Had to come back now at the uh, boundary umpire. So uh, good start by the Roos in the final term. Only played four minutes, and they've kicked two goals already. And they're now out to 11, uh, an 11 point lead. Jordan Kavanagh has been sensational so far. Some good possessions there for that goal as well across midfield. Back to the middle. Bolton, Wilson, off the back of the pack again. Roved by Hash Brown in there. <coughs> Grace across half back. Looks like he's struggling a little bit there, I reckon. Kick around the corner, Spice up, and. Griffiths takes the mark. That was easy for the Eagles. They did nicely. And he will shoot for goal from 20 metres out. And directly in front. And looking at six for the day afternoon. So he's kicked five. 
He'd be a catch. <laughs> he would be a catch. I'm surprised Chris Moore still got hair. He comes in. Kicks the goal. So he's kicked six. And quick reply for the Eagles. They go to 10, 12, 72. Back to five points. Anarchy 11, 11, 77. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard. Five minutes played. Yes, it's uh, ebbing and flowing, as we said. Uh, in the third quarter, it was East Geelong that's got away, and then uh, Anarchy got the reply this time. Anarchy have got the first couple and uh, it's a just quick all reply. about win winning it in the midfield, isn't it? Certainly is. Put your hands on in the middle and you're away, and that's it. What was the North Geelong and Werribee? Was that? 11-369 uh, um, North Geelong, Werribee 6-10-46. Uh, hanging in there. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Keep his job anyway. That's good. <laughs> Not if you ask Grubby. <laughs> Back in the middle of the ground. Both players go at it. This time Wilson up over the top. Gets it down. Well done by Coops. Dived on top of the ball. Kavanagh. High says the umpire. Free kick goes to East Geelong. And to Riley Coops. Probably been as good an East Geelong player as has been out there today. Comes out wide, Nia Waddy, and he takes the mark. Was going to go, held up. He goes back inside, and the mark has been taken. McFarlane, little left boot, goes back into the middle of the ground and finds Coop. So oh, he's tackled, and well done by Fairchild from behind, and he wins possession of the ball. So Fairchild has the ball now on the half back line as a player wide in Rhodes. Called a play on by the umpire as he advances. Goes long. Slug it's the target. Ball comes front of the contest. Peters couldn't pick the ball up. Goes back and they're trying to win possession. I think it's Nye Waddy head over the contest. Well, no, it's not. He's out the back of the contest. Oh, umpire said that's holding the ball against McFarlane. And Ebel has got the ball. Goes quickly towards Kenyon. Great kick. Mark wasn't taken. Kept it in front of him. Picked up there. Fairchild. Good handball outside to Peters. Has time to steady. But unfortunately... It's about where he's running, I think. I was going to say, he's uh, always going to kick it there. He uh, couldn't bring it back or put the banana on it. It's 11 goals, 12 now to Anarchy. Uh, 78, 10, 12, 72 to the East Geelong side. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki's final quarter scoreboard. We've gone seven minutes. So Belitho kicking in duties again for the Eagles. <laughs> Plays on from full back. Goes long, looking for the hash brown. Phyllis against him. Good mark. So, plays on as well. Runs away. Goes through the middle. Takes a bounce. Gets a shepherd. Long kick to half forward. Griffiths, why wouldn't you kick it to him? He's kicked six. Marks it at centre half forward. Not much to kick to. Warwick is back in there. Waiting for Pointon to get there as well. He goes long. Holds up. Top of the square. Oh, nearly a mark too from uh, Olsen. Under pressure. Pack develops. About 15 blokes around the football. Still 15 metres out from the East Geelong goal. The ball's wrapped up, and it will be a ball up. What price, what price a draw? Well, it's a big opportunity, <laughs> I reckon. So, ball up, 15 out from the East Geelong goal. They're 10, 12, 72. Anarchy 11, 12, 78. Bolton goes up, gets it down nicely. Only as far as Butcher lost the football in the tackle. Bolton over it again, shuffles the handball out. Coop somehow got it out and hit the post. So they go to 10-13-73 East Geelong. They trail Anarchy 11-12-78. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard. Eight and a half played. Ebel gets a short kick in and goes further afield. Finds Phyllis. So uh, players working pretty hard here. Phyllis goes further afield. Lead up player. And the mark has been taken there by Rhodes. Hasn't been bad. Has Wilson short if he wants to go to. He's going to... Uh, not too sure. Umpire calls play on now. Gee, that's a dangerous kick. He's got the ball back, though. It was good work by Brown on the boundary line. He kicks the ball now. Rhodes goes longer. Peters is a target. Front of the contest again. Fairchild, or he was tackled without the ball then. Thought he uh, should have won a free kick. Comes out of the contest now. East Geelong have the numbers, but it's picked up. Handball goes inside. Goes towards Pope. Goes over the top. Kavanagh did it smartly. Didn't take possession of the ball. Fixed it along to Kenyon. Was uh, running oh. away from goal. Went back towards goal. Kicks towards Sluggett. He's in the front of the contest. Contest, Kavanagh off the ground and misses. Minor score, 11-13 to the Anarchy side. 10-13 to East Geelong. Nine and a half minutes gone. Final quarter, Smith Sold and Blood Suzuki scoreboard. Blytho into the pocket. It's okay. Mark taken. They go over the top to pit. Pretty slow kick. Turned it over. Kenyon pits there again. Second effort was all right. Oh, play on, said the umpire. Ball spills free. Rhodes runs in. Feigns the handball. He better kick the goal now, and he does. 
He was going to give it to Sluggett. He ended up kicking the goal. And Mason Rhodes kicks his first. And the 12th for Anarchy, 12, 13, 85. They lead East Geelong, 10, 13, 73. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard, 10 minutes played. So it's a good play. They persisted, Anarchy. They kept pushing the ball forward. They're a little bit lucky. Kenyon slipped when he was about to kick the goal. And uh, the ball has come back out. So Kavanagh going to rest forward now. Wilson's going to do some ruck work again. He's going to uh, obviously do it for most of the day. McLennan's gone in against him. So it's now time for East Geelong to answer once again if it uh, runs to the norm of the day. One side gets away. The other side then quickly answers back once again. Ruckman go at it in the middle of the ground. This time it's tapped down by McLennan. Kenyon's in there. Got the handball away. Didn't travel too far. Picked up by Jacobs. He got the handball away. Vesakuru kept the ball in front of himself. He's a lot cleaner this time. Goes out the back. Oh, it's a nice handball. Pointing. Stopped. Propped. Kick wasn't good. Went outside. So Wilson's got a job to do now. He's got three on one. He needs to keep it in there. He dives on top of him. Umpire says it's high. And now it's going to be a play on for the ball is away. Elliott plays on and goes long into the forward line. Mark is not taken. Out the back. Hamer stopped. Wanted to go back on his right foot. He gets a chance. Goes around the body. Kicks it towards the pool, uh, forward line. Uh, pay, uh, Coulter it is. That's got the ball underneath him. And he has been held up. So it's going to be a ball up. About just outside the 10 metre square. Forward line. So it looks like Chris Parker's decided he's going to do the ruck work here. He's going to go up against Griffiths. Ball is tapped through for a minor score. And that will move East Geelong on to 10-14 now. 13, sorry, 12-13 to Anarchy. And 11 and a half minutes gone. Final quarter, Smith's hold on Blood Suzuki scoreboard. Grace kicks it in short. White takes the mark. Gives it back to Grace in the back pocket. He chips the ball to Phyllis. Defensive 50 takes the mark. <clears throat> Rhodes comes up. Kenyon White, he reckons. Wilson's there as well. What does he do? He goes down the line looking for Wilson. Fairchild's there as well. Over their heads. Back of the pack. Wormsley. Could be a dangerous kick back into the middle. No mark taken by Kavanagh. On hands and knees. He got up. Then he get leg. Now the umpire said play on. Cody's in there as well. Butchers over the top of it. Pack develops. The umpire letting it go now. We'll come in and ball it up. So right in the middle of the ground. 11 points of difference, 12 and a half minutes played. Final term. Pye throws the ball in the air. Wilson, Bolton gets it down. Back of the pack was Butcher. Handballed it away to nobody in particular. McLennan can't take it either. Now Wamsley get it, gets a free, a free kick towards half forward. Oh, that's kicking in danger, isn't it? Fairchild will take the free kick. And 50. 50. Ooh, lucky, very lucky. Not 50. He was very lucky. <laughs> so Fairchild pulling to the centre square at half forward. Oh, then he kicks into the man on the mark now. He's shuffled a handball out. Kavanagh. Can he get around? He gets on the left, goes towards the pocket and down the field. Uh, too high, said the umpire with the tackle. And Anarchy will take the free kick down the field. It'll be Hearn with it, I think. <coughs> He's got it in the... Between the half forward flank and the forward pocket, northern end of the ground, about 35 out. That's where the ball ended up. The ball actually ended up <laughs> down the, the gate. Yeah, out the <laughs> gate, halfway to Milan. So, Hearn has it when the ball comes finally back to him. So 11 points of difference, 14 minutes played, final term is to make the margin 17. Which would be one of the biggest leads, I reckon. Yeah, it would be. Of the afternoon. Comes in. 35 out. Left foot kick. High. Looks pretty good sure. off the boot. Looks very nice off the boot. <laughs> and he's kicked the goal. So, Hearn kicks his first. And they go to 13, 13, 91, Anarchy. They lead East Geelong 10, 14, 74. Smith's holding Blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard, 14 and a half played. It's now time for the East Geelong boys to react here. As I said, it's uh, probably the biggest margin of the game. I think it got to about this point one other time. I think 18 points at yeah. uh, second quarter, I think. Yep. So back with the umpire in the middle of the ground. 
Kenyon looks like he's gone to the middle. Wormsley's in there. Butcher's in there. No, it's not. It's young Ebel. And the ball is thrown up. McLennan go over the top. Uh, Wilson takes it out nicely. Delivers the ball. Goes quickly into the forward line. Over the back it goes. Slug it. Has it. Lost it. Fed the ball out the front. Went towards Hearn. Didn't pick the ball up. It's uh, picked up there. And by Marino, he's tackled. Brought to ground. Umpire quickly in and says it's going to be a ball up. About 20 metres out from goal. Anarchy, another opportunity to hold the ball in their forward line. It's McLennan that's put his hand in the air down there to do the ruck work. A ball over the top. McLennan knocks the ball down, goes towards Coops. Comes out, and again, McLennan's got it. He needs to get rid of it. The ball is delivered. Comes in towards the centre square. Bounces. Bolton's there. Trapes it over his head. Only as far as Wilson on the left boot. He puts the ball back inside, and the mark has been held, has it? I think he's got it between his between legs. His legs. <laughs> Nick Fairchild, is it? Doesn't matter how you mark it. Yeah. No, he's got hold of it. And Nick Fairchild has taken the mark. And we'll go back and shoot towards goal. Another left footer. We're in the number 96. Comes in now. And from about 35 to 40 metres out, kicks towards goal. It's going to go across the face and will sneak in for a minor score. One goal, two to that player this afternoon. Now 13-14, 92. They lead East Geelong on 10-14-74. And we have gone 16 minutes, final quarter. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki scoreboard. So the Eagles. Kick it back in. Warwick kicks it in. Finds Marshall, he chips the ball over the top. Cody takes the mark. In between the back pocket and half back. Down the line. It's okay. The hash brown takes it, handballs it. Oh, dangerously. They want to get things moving. McFarlane goes with the kick long towards half forward. Oh, foot 50 in line. Bob Griffiths take the mark. So on centre wing, takes the mark, wants to drive it quickly, goes towards uh, 50. Parker goes up off the back of the pack. Kick around the corner by Calder. Visakuru did nicely, picked it up. Oh, the don't argue, and then the too high. Oh. So, doesn't the don't argue say that it's probably holding the ball when it, if you do that? Yeah, you I think really I think that when he turned, that. he just if lowered he just himself enough, himself. and the, well, the tackle Selwood didn't go style. high. Yeah, yeah, it was just over the top, but gee, it could have gone either way. So Visakuru has the football 12 metres out from goal, slight angle, and. A chance to put his first on the board and the 11th for East Geelong. And he comes in. Southern end of the ground, right foot kick, keeps it low and miss. So <laughs> Bronx cheers from the uh, Anarchy supporters in the pocket pocket down there. 10-15-75, the Eagles. They trail Anarchy 13-14-92. Smith's Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. 18 minutes played. Jamie Grace must have put himself into the fence for the uh, final quarter. <laughs> so Grace not too sure where he wants to go. Decides to go pretty much uh, towards White over the back. Comes through to McLennan. McLennan can put it back inside 50. Little short kick. Only one watching the ball there was Cockrell. And he takes the mark. So Cockrell now... In the back pocket for the Anarchy side. Just a little bit of possession footy. They go out wide. Parker. Back in for his first game since I think Dave Wombley said the first game of the season where he was, uh, saw about five minutes of the game. Went to sleep and uh, he's back in at the side. It's been okay. Jamie Grace has a player back in the goal square. Butcher. They can break now because they've got Bowman this side of the ground. He needs to go and run. He can do so. He's got plenty of space in front of him. He's just prepared to take it short. No, he goes backwards. Not too sure that was the way to go with Wilson out this side. They're going to put themselves under pressure soon if they don't deliver the ball oh. long. That's where it goes. Coming up from behind oh, Lewis, but going back, Brown does it nicely. He had a good first quarter. He's a little too were a bit quiet, but he's got himself back involved in the game. Moved himself up into the ball. Goes inside. Poynton was another one that was playing very well early in the contest. Delivers the ball now inside 50, and the mark has been taken again. It's that man again, Griffiths. He's got six, can go back and maybe look at seven. He's got no urgency about getting him back and getting the game going. They're getting towards 20 minutes. I know the margin's only three or four goals, but uh, and you can do it fairly quickly. 
suppose. If he takes his time and kicks it, it's well worth the wait. He's got six, as we said. So he comes in. He'll kick from about 45. We'll be testing distance a bit later in the game. He's not going to make the distance. He's going to land in the goal square. Coming out. Mark is not taken. Handball comes out. It's as far as Bowman. He has a player short. He goes longer. Rhodes. And he will take the mark. He's been one of the good contributors for Anarchy this afternoon. So Rhodes now with the ball. Goes long. Delivers the ball towards centre wing. Numbers there. Up. Mark is not taken. Picked up. Kicked by uh, Kenyon into the forward line. The ball runs free. Sluggett comes out. Takes it. Handball's off. Kavanagh can put the game beyond reach now. Nice kick towards goal. Bounces. No, through for a minor score. <laughs> so Jordan Kavanagh with 1-4. 13-15 now to the home side. They lead us by three goals. East Geelong on 10-15. 20 and a half minutes gone. Final quarter. Quick kick in by Belitho. Found Harmer. He set Jacobs up. He needs to go back and pick it up himself. He's on centre wing. So move the ball quickly. Now Bolton takes the mark at half forward in front of Grace. Wants to switch the ball. He does. Back to Coops. Coops takes the mark. Thought about playing on. He just goes back. He's 50 out from goal. So now Coops thinks it's too far out. Looking for a pass. Warwick gave him a lead. So did the hash brown. I'd be just standing in front of Griffiths. I was playing on him. Wouldn't let him run put at all. Put four on him. So he comes in, Coops. 50 out. Gives it everything he's got. Holds up in the square. Punched away by Wilson. And Parker sees it in the back pocket. Goes towards Butcher. He's got the run of it. It sits for him. He's outside defensive 50 now. He goes long. He probably should have taken it towards Peters. He goes towards Pope. And the two on two out there. The Eagles fight hard for it. Pope puts the uh, tackle on. And close to the boundary line. The Eagles try and keep it in. They do. Jacobs gets a shepherd. Gets the handball away. Nawadi goes towards half forward. Oh, Bolton couldn't pick it up that time. Wilson. Phyllis gives it to Wilson across half back. He gives it away to Rhodes. Not much to kick to. So he just kicks it up high towards half forward. Sluggett comes out. Sits for him. Gets one hand to it. Can't take it with him. He's got three on him. Oh, he does pretty well. Sluggett does nicely. Gives it away to Phyllis. He drags it in. Handballs it away. Kenyon runs through the pack. Handball to Kavanagh. 65 out. Goes towards the square. And over the back. Pointer. Close to the boundary line. And Pitt's there as well. And they see it over in the right forward pocket for the Ruse. 22 and a half played. Final term. Manneke 13-15-93. They lead East Geelong 10-15-75. I think it might be comfortable now. Jace has a few plied boys out there at the stage of the game. Sort of running. Yeah. <laughs> not running too well. Are they? Running like I would at any stage of the day. <laughs> so, ball, as we said, deep in attack for Anarchy. As I said, another score would probably uh, just about put it well and truly beyond doubt. Picked up, Sluggett goes towards goal. He hasn't done it again, has he? Yep. Yes, he has. <laughs> Jeremy Sluggett, he has got goal number six. And the 14th for the Anarchy side, 14-15-99. They lead East Geelong on 10-15-75. 23 minutes gone, final quarter. Smith Holden, Bloodsuzuki, final quarter scoreboard. <laughs> He's at eight kicks and kick six one. <laughs> He's been good though, hasn't he? He yeah, a few players well, said, into the game as yep. well, a couple of handballs. And <clears throat> He's done his job, that's for sure. He's uh, done this for a long, long time, yeah. Jeremy Sluggett. <laughs> <laughs> handy, to, handy to have down there. My word. So back to the middle. 24 the difference now. Might take a bit of a miracle from for the Eagles, I think, to get back. Bolton gets it down. Roved in the middle, holding the ball. No, the umpire says play on Coops, but there's Phyllis. Spare man in defence, just takes the mark. Goes towards Grace. Takes the mark just on defensive 50. Phyllis short. He goes in that direction. Just the old experienced heads, eh? And Butcher back to Phyllis by hand. He chips the ball. Parker takes the mark. Just slowing the ball down now. That's all they need to do. 24 and a half played. Final term. Plays on. Where's he going now? Oh, into the middle. Grace. Handball to Kavanagh. Through the middle towards half forward. Coming out though. The Eagles defence. They do nicely. And they switch the ball to McLennan. Plays on quickly. Goes around over. Oh, well, the hash brown made that look better than it was. 
Yeah, it did Took nicely. The mark under, in front of Rhodes. So now on centre wing, Brown. Goes long. Inside 50, Griffiths. Punched away at the back. Bowman leaves it behind. Warwick leaves it for Harmer. Harmer gets the kick away. And which way does it bounce? It bounces through for a behind. Sticky little mothers. They are, aren't they? 14, 15, 99, Anarchy. East along 10, 16, 76, 25 and a half played. Final terms, Miss Holden Blood Suzuki scoreboard. Yes, that needed just a little uh, bit of Shane Warne luck there, I think, to roll through. But uh, Jamie Grace now doing the kicking in from the full-back position once again. We said Anarchy in no real hurry to get things going here. A little short kick, Butcher. Hasn't been too bad either, Butcher. I don't mind the way he's gone about it today. Would be in the better players for the Anarchy side, you would think. Goes back to Jamie Grace. He's right now. Bit of candy there. Takes one bounce. Gets to 50. Little short chip over the top. He's the best bloke on the ground. And that's uh, Jordan Kavanagh. He's been really good. He's got the ball. And he's not too sure where he wants to go with it. He's called the play on there by the umpire. Goes long and out wide towards Peters. Needs to get hold of the ball. Out the back it runs. Picked up there by Earl Cody. And Cody comes back through the middle. Short kick. It was okay. Mark has been taken there. Far side of the ground. Delivers the ball back inside. Brown, he's been really good in the last quarter for East Geelong. Really tried to lift him. Was going to go over the top to Visakuro. He wasn't expecting it. Went back to Brown. Looking for another handball. Put himself under pressure. And a good tackle. So the pressure is maintained there by the Anarchy boys. And it's Cockrell that wins the uh, free kick. There's Kenyon out the back door if he wants him. He's going to go short and wide. Finds Wilson. So 26 and a half minutes in the last quarter. You would think uh, a minor miracle now from the throw it away. They just need to maintain possession. Wilson decides to go long and wide. At the back, Mark is not taken. Over the back, ball runs free. It's going to be East Geelong who have the numbers there. They win their possession of the ball. Picked up there. Was cleared away by Spicer. He put himself with his teammates under pressure. They wobble the ball a bit further afield to Hancock. Goes back to Spicer. Has another look at it. Steadings himself. Goes over the top. Went back to Hancock. A little chip up over the top. Hamer on centre wing. Delivers the ball now. Goes long and into the forward line. In front, Cockrell. Out the back. Bolton. Mark not taking McLennan. Doing the roving. Short kick in towards the player. And uh, was the good mark taken Warwick. there by Chris Warwick. In front of Bowman. And he is going to have a shot at goal. We're going to tick towards 28 minutes of the final quarter. And he's going to kick from about 45 here, Chris Warwick. I don't think distance will be a problem. What about Grubby? Go the Mighty Blues. 25 up on Sydney. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Pick Sydney. I did, actually. I thought that was their chance. It's only long way. He might be out a bit of pressure. Mm. So Chris Warwick steps in from 40. Kicks long. Kicks straight. Umpire does not move. Straight back over the umpire's hit his first goal of the afternoon and the 11th goal for the East Geelong side. Their 11 goals, 16, 82, 14, 15, 99 to Anarchy and 28 minutes gone. Final quarter. Smith Holden, Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. So Thompson well ahead of Carayo. North Geelong struggling a bit with Werribee. Bannockburn going okay against the Belmont Lions. The other games. Twilight game shortly between Geelong West and Inverlee at the West Oval. Winchell Sam Bell Post still finish round four tonight at the Eastern Reserve. GDFL football, round four. Back in the middle, Wilson takes the ruck contest, gives it away to Kavanagh, gives it away by hand to Pope from centre wing, drives it long towards uh, 50. Hearn goes up from behind. Handball over the top. The Eagles got the numbers. They switch the ball. Nobody gets it. Runs across towards half back point and takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Gets around. Sheriff gets a bounce. Chips the ball towards McLennan. Goes up. Can't take the mark. Point and follow it up. Goes with the right foot kick now. Inside 50. Grace goes up. Double fister. Down towards White. The hash brown comes at it. Grace as well there. And through the middle. Parker gives it away to Butcher. Gets it away to Kavanagh at half back. By hand, go towards centre half, towards half forward. Punched away, Marino's there. Went left, came back to the right, goes back towards with the kick. And the mark taken by Elliott. Goes along the line, looking for McFarlane. Takes the mark. 
Plays on. Wheels around on the left. Goes inside. 50. All anarchy there, though. Phyllis takes the mark uncontested. Let's put the uh, experienced players behind the ball. Grace, Phyllis, White. There they are, the one, two, th and the seven. They're all sitting there. Parker's there as well in front. Just switching the play now. Cross to Cockrell. Takes the mark. He's got Bowman close to the boundary line. And gets oh. a push anyway. Oh, oh, oh you're dawling. joking. Oh, you think he's dobbed that? Oh, no, he hasn't. <laughs> His Warwick kick, kicks it behind. You're kidding me, aren't you? 11-17-83 East Geelong. Anarchy 14 15 99 30 and a half minutes played final term. You wouldn't want that to win the game, would you? No like, way. Gee. So the ball comes out, and the mark has been taken from Hearn, and the kick for is from the coach. So Hearn now has a look behind him. He's just going to deliver the ball. Goes towards centre wing. Players there, don't take the mark. Louis, uh, sorry, Louis Kenyon. I was going to say, Nathan Kenyon has the ball. He got... There's a siren anyway. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and the final siren has sounded here at the 31-minute mark of the final quarter, which will see Anarchy go in at 14-15-99, defeat East Geelong on 11-17-83. Goal kickers for the home side, Jeremy Sluggett with six. Two to Will Pointer and one each to Jordan Cavanagh, Jamie Grace, Nathan Kenyon, Todd Hearn, Mason Rhodes and Nick Fairchild. And for the East Geelong side, six goals to uh, Bobby Griffiths, two to Ash Brown, one each to Chris Warwick, Stephen Porton and Will Spicer. So it's the Roos, 14-15-99, defeat East Geelong 11-17-83 by 16 points this afternoon. We'll take a break. We come back, we'll have the final siren. Thanks to Buckley's Entertainment Centre. We'll wrap things up here at Anarchy Reserve. You're listening to 94.7 The Pulse.